good day to all in this session i will be working out problems relating to preparation of bin card in the last session i have discussed the format of a bin card and the principles followed in writing a bin card let us solve problems with regard to preparation of bin card the first problem the following information regarding receipts and issues of material x has been obtained from store records of sigma limited for the month of october 2020 first october opening stock 25000 kg second october issued on mr number 80 13000 kg 8th october purchase by gr number 30 30000 kg 14th october issued on mr number 81 15000 kg 20th october return to supplier 10000 kg 25th october transfer from job number 2 to job number 5 7000 kg now as additional information it's been given on october 15 stock was verified and a shortage of 20 kg was noticed maximum level 50000 kg minimum level 8000 kg reorder level 25000 kg we have been asked to prepare a bin card number 105 for material x for which code number is 302 now let's first look at what is given in the problem receipts and issues of material x are given in kgs and it is clearly given on first there is an opening stock issues on 2nd and 14th purchase is shown on the 8th 15th there is a shortage 20th there is a return to supplier and on 25th there is a transfer from job number 2 to job number 5 now please note that inter department or inter job transfers are not entered in bin card other details that we need to show while preparing a bin card are maximum level minimum level reorder level let us see how we prepare a bin card through a step by step procedure name of the company on the top stigma limited bin card it's followed by the details which are given in the problem description material x code number is given 302 maximum level 50000 kg store ledger number not given so therefore we we'll leave it blank location code is also not given minimum level 8000 kg bin number 105 given units are expressed in kgs reorder level is 25000 kg now the important details that we need to show in while preparing the bin card are date receipts under receipts we need to show gr number goods received note number quantity in kgs and a issue column we need to show mr number material requisition note number quantity in kgs balance and remarks now let us post the transactions given into bin number 105 as you all know on first there is a opening stock of 25000 kg so 1 10 2020 20, i show the balance in the balance column as 25000 units are expressed in kgs so remark is opening balance on second there is a issue on mr number 80 so the transaction is shown under issue column mr number 80 quantity is 13000 kgs now please keep in mind 
we have a balance of 25000 kgs out of which 13000 kgs have been issued so therefore balance is only 12000 kgs next on 8th there's a purchase so whenever you purchase there's a gr number 30 quantity purchase is 30000 kgs so when you purchase material the balance will increase so on second there's a closing balance of 12000 to which i add this 30000 units which comes up to 42000 units or 42000 kgs now 14th once again there's an issue against mr number 81 and the mr number column i write 81 quantity issue is 15000 kgs students please keep in mind whenever there's a receipt balance increases whenever there's issue the balance decreases so on 8th we have a balance of 42000 kgs on 14th we issue 15000 kgs so on the on 14th there's a balance of 27000 kgs since in bin card we record the transactions under chronological order please keep in mind in the adjustment it's given on 15th stock was verified and shortage of 20 kgs was noticed so 15th shortage is shown under issue column 20 kgs so the balance decreases 27000 minus 20 kg comes up to 26980 kgs so on the remark column we show it as due to shortage 20 kgs have been lost on 20th return to supplier 10000 kgs so please keep in mind whenever you return goods to supplier it must be shown under issue column 10000 kgs from 26980 minus 10000 the balance units are 16980 kgs remarks is shown as return to supplier on 25th there's a transfer from job number 2 to job number 5 as i've already informed you that interdepartmental or inter job transfer of materials are not entered in bin card let us move to the next problem the following information regarding coal is obtained from the store records of padma steel limited for the month of october 2020 first opening balance 500 tons fourth issued on mr number 85 160 tons fifth received from vendor white gr number 240 tons eighth issued on mr number 86 180 tons 12th issued on mr number 87 60 tons 17th received from vendor white gr number 8 200 tons 24th issued on mr number 88 150 tons 30th received from vendor white gr number 250 tons on 31st issued on mr number 89 170 tons as additional information we have stock was verified and a shortage of 200 tons and 100 tons of surplus was found on 26th october 2020 the minimum stock level is given to be 200 tons the ordering level is 300 tons prepare a bin card number 20 for the above transaction the first step let us prepare the format of a bin card name of the company on the top padma steels limited bin card description it's given coal code number maximum level of stock is not stated store ledger number location code is not given minimum level is 200 tons the bin number is 20 units are expressed in tons and reorder level is given to be 300 tons the normal format which includes date and the receipts you have gr number and quantity and the issue we have mr number and quantity balance and remark now let us proceed with posting the transaction given into the respective bin card on first 1 10 2020 the 
there's an opening balance of 500 tons. So directly I show 500 tons in the balance column. And under remark, I show it to be opening balance. On fourth, there's the issue. We record it under issue column, MR number, material requisition note number is given 85, 160 tons. Now please be careful from the balance of 500. When you, you issue 160 tons, so balance remains as 340 tons. On fifth, received from vendor, white GR number 7. We show this transaction under receipt column, GR number 7. Quantity received is 240 units. Already we have on fourth balance of 340. So whenever you receive the closing balance would increase. So 340 tons plus 240 tons comes up to 580 tons. On eighth, once again, there's an issue against the amount number 86. We show it under issue column 86 Yamaha number quantity 180. So from the balance on 5th that's 580 you deduct 180 units. The closing balance is 400 tons. On 12th once again there's an issue against Yamaha number 87. Shown under issue column 87 is a Yamaha number. Quantity issued is 60 tons from 400 when you deduct 60 tons, the closing balance on 12th is 340 tons. On 17th, there's a receipt from vendor, YGR number 8. You show it under receipt column. Quantity received is 200 tons. As I told you, whenever there's a receipt, closing balance increases. Whenever there's an issue, the closing balance decreases. So 340 units balance is shown on 12th to which I add the units purchased on 17. So closing balance would be 540 units. On 24th, there's an issue against Yama number 88, 150 units. So from 540 tons, when I deduct 150, the balance remains on 24th is 390 tons. Now, in additional information on the 26th, it's given that there's a shortage of 200 tons as well as surplus of 100 tons. So, first, let me show the shortage. Shortage must be recorded under issue column. Quantity, shortage quantity is given to be 200 tons. So, from 390 closing balance on 24th, I did up 200 units. The closing balance is 190 units. On the same day, once again, there's a surplus of 100 units. Please keep in mind, the surplus must be shown under receipt column. So, to the closing balance on 26, 190, I add 100 units. So, on 26, the closing balance is 290 units. Whenever there's a transaction which is not regular in nature, it's always better to write a remark under remark column. On 30th, Again, there's a receipt against GR number 9, 250 tons. So, closing balance should increase. 290 existing on 26th plus 250 received on 30th. So, closing balance would be 540 units. On 31st, there's an issue against Yamar number 89. Quantity issued is 170 tons. So, the closing balance is 540 minus 170, which comes up to 370 tons. So the closing balance in bin card as on 31st October 2020 is 370 units. Let me solve the last problem. Prepare a bin card from the details given below for the month of September 2020. First, opening balance 3000 units. Second, issued on MR number 50, 1,750 units. Fifth, purchased GR number 100, 5,000 units. Seventh, issued MR number 51, 4,000 units. Eighth, there's a receipt of GR number 101, 8,000 units. Tenth, issued MR number 52, 9,000 units. Eighteenth, returned to stores, 250 units. Twentieth, purchased GR number 102. 2,500 units, return to vendor, 2,000 units, 
issued MR number 53, 1000 units, purchased GR number 103, 3000 units. As additional information we have that on 15th and 28th of September, the Stock Clarification Office found a shortage of 100 and 200 units respectively. For bin number 35, code number is AX53. The maximum stock level 5000 units, minimum stock level 2000 units, reorder level is 3000 units and reorder quantity is given to be 4000 units. Let us proceed with the preparation of bin card. Bin card description code number is given, maximum level is given. Store ledger, location code not given. So, minimum level is given to be 2000 units. Bin number given 35 units must be expressed. Reorder level is 3000 units. Now, the basic format of a bin card which includes date, receipts and a receipt, GR number quantity, issue, MR number quantity, balance and remark. The first transaction, opening balance. On 1st September 2020, shown in balance column. Second, there is an issue which must be shown under issue column. Quantity is 1750 units. So, from 3000, when you deduct 1750 units, the resulting figure or the balance would be 1250 units. On 5th, there is a purchase against GR number 100, 5000 units. Whenever there is a purchase, balance increases to the old balance of 1,250 units, you add 5,000 units. The closing balance on 5th is 6,250 units. On 7th, there is an issue against MR number 51, 4,000 units. From 6,250 units, you deduct 4,000. So, balance on 7, 9, 20, 20 is 2,250 units. On 8th, there is a receipt of 8,000 kgs. So, once again, the balance would increase since there is a receipt. 2,250 closing balance on 7th to which we add 8,000 units. So, the balance would be 10,250 units. On 10th, there is an issue of 9,000 units which must be shown under issue column. From 10,250 units, you deduct 9,000 units which are issued. So, balance would be 1,250 units. On 15th, it's clearly given there is a shortage of 100 units. As I've told you, shortage is shown on the issue column. From 1,250, you deduct 100. So, the balance is 1,150 units. On 18, there is return to store. Whenever the goods are returned to store, they must be recorded under receipts column. So, the balance would increase. Balance on 18, 9, 20, 20 is 1,400 units. On 20, there is a purchase against GR number 102, 2,500 units. So, again, the closing balance would increase to the closing balance on 18th. I add 2,500 units. So, the closing balance is 3,900 units. On 25th, return to vendors. So, whenever there is a return, to vendors, it must be shown under issue column to that extent the closing balance would decrease. On 27th, there is an issue again which must be shown under issue column 1000 units. So, closing balance would be 900 units. On 28th, it is given once again there is a shortage of 200 units which we show under issue column. So, the closing balance after Recording the shortage in bin card is 700 units. On 30th, there is a purchase of 3000 units. Whenever there is purchase, the closing balance would increase. So, the closing balance on 30th, 9, 2020 is 3700 units. With this, I conclude my session.